Hi everyone, my name is Anuj Jindal and I welcome you to this session wherein I will be discussing with you English Descriptive for RBI. Now English Descriptive has always been an Achilles heel or a problematic area for a lot of students and that is why it becomes important for us to discuss it regularly. With my enrolled students, I've already been discussing uh, English Descriptive for a long time but I felt that we need to do the same on YouTube as well. My other team members, Shubham sir, Manish sir, have already been discussing with you answer writing. And so I thought, let's discuss English descriptive writing as well. Today, I will be focusing upon essay writing because that is one very relevant area and an area where students face a lot of problems as well. Okay. I will subsequently try and cover reading comprehension as well as essay writing as well. But today our focus is going to be on essay writing. If I have to give you the gist of essay writing, then that is SOP. And SOP bulna asan hai, but to be able to justify it with the right SOP, which is standard operating procedure, it takes time and it is not that easy a task. But it is very much possible. And once you have accomplished the right SOP for your essay writing, automatically you will see that essay writing becomes a piece of cake. So, hum aaj SOP ko seekhenge essay writing ke andar. I will soon be telling you the agenda for today. If you feel that this session is going to be relevant for you, then please watch the entire session because it's going to be a long session. However, it is going to be very, very helpful for you. If you've not enrolled in the crash course yet, you can do it very well. Even now, we still have enough time to prepare for the exam. I've also launched now this is for 10,000 after discount. I've also launched another one which is for 7,500 wherein the books are not provided to you in physical format but only in digital format so if you feel ki mujhe physical format ki books nahi chahiye i'm fine with reading books in digital format then you can very well take that course as well Every, everything else remains the same there is no change in anything else so aaj hum logo ka agenda kya hone wala hai what are we going to discuss today let's try and understand that the steps to follow while starting with your essay writing, which I call the standard operating procedure or SOP. The do's and don'ts, which will be, uh, I would say we will already discuss it in SOP, but I will try and summarize it in the do's and don'ts section. I will take up a good essay, which I, ha I have written myself. And this essay is on artificial intelligence. I gave it to my enrolled students in my first test. I will pick up this essay and it's a very well written, very well researched essay. And then the unique thing about this session is going to be that I will be comparing it with a bad essay. Now, I would not say a bad essay, but I would say an average essay because comparison between a good and a bad essay is easy. But comparison between a good and an average essay and try to figure out the difference between them is more challenging and difficult. And the interesting thing is that this average essay has been picked up from an artificial intelligence tool like open AI. So, this is how you will understand that picking up essays from cat GPT, open AI, etc, etc will give you average essays, but will not give you a good essay. Okay. Start karte hai, what are the steps that you need to follow? The first step is to decode the keywords from essay topic. Aapke paas teen essays, char essays aayenge exam mein. You have to decode the keywords of all these essays. Not one, because one important step in writing essay in the examination is to figure out which essay do you want to write out of the three or four options that you have been given. Now you have three options. They have given you three essay topics. Instead of intuitively going towards one essay, it makes more sense if you first rationally figure out which essay would give you the most marks and which essay can you write the best. And for that to do, for that to happen, it's important that you First, figure out the keywords of all the essay topics. It is very, very relevant and it does not take a lot of time. It's going to take about one minute maximum to figure out the keywords of all the essay topics. You can either underline it, but if you have it on screen, you can write it on a piece of paper. And then you create a brief structure of all the essay topics, wherein only the body part can be discussed. For example, if I'm given, given an essay topic, impact of climate change 
ऑन इंडियन फ्यूचर ओके तो हमने अभी खाली कीवर्ड उठा लिया विच इज इम्पैक्ट ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड इन द बॉडी पार्ट वॉट पॉइंट एम आई गोइंग टू राइट वॉट कैन बी द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज जोग्राफिकल इम्पैक्ट वेर इन द रिवर्स माइट रन ड्राई द एयर क्वालिटी माइट डिटीरियोरेट अर्थक्वेक्स माइट इंक्रीज एक्सट्रीम वेदर इवेंट्स लाइक साइक्लोन्स ड्रॉट्स फ्लड्स दे माइट ऑल्सो इंक्रीज तो दीज आर ऑल द डायरेक्ट इम्पैक्ट ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज what else can happen there can be health risks for people covid-19 is an example it could also have arisen because of the increasing climate change and not because of a man made issue right what else can be the problem uh, can be the impact of climate change hamare aas paas jo bhi ho raha hai climate change mein usse kya impact ho sakta hai environmental impact that is a direct impact of climate change ऐसे ही बहुत सारे हम इम्पैक्ट फिगर आउट कर सकते हैं तो इन वेरी ब्रीफली इन अबाउट थर्टी सेकेंड्स और अबाउट अ मिनट यू ट्राई एंड फिगर आउट वॉट ऑल पॉइंट कैन यू थिंक एट द टॉप ऑफ योर हेड अबाउट दिस टॉपिक ओके ऐसे ही यू डू द सेम एक्सरसाइज फॉर ऑल द थ्री फोर टॉपिक्स दैट आर गिवन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड इन दैट टाइम पीरियड यू विल हैव अ वेरी गुड आइडिया ओके इन अबाउट थ्री मिनट्स आई हैव रैशनली फिगर आउट दैट दिस टॉपिक इज द बेस्ट फॉर मी बिकॉज दिस इज द most number of points that i would figure out in a uh, you know short span of time so if i give, give myself 10 minutes on researching this topic i will be able to figure out a lot more points and a lot more issues as well okay so this is how you first create a structure for all the essay topics that you have given in brief and through that you try and figure out you try and figure out kaun sa sabse best hai mere liye which essay topic is the best for me and then we repeat the same uh, step 1 and step 2 again okay so ye step 1 step 2 clear hai abhi tak what are we going to do now let's say i have uh, decided that i am going to write my essay on impact of ai rather than impact of climate change impact of ai ke mere paas most number of points nikle the so i am going to write on this now again i will repeat step 1 and step 2 step 1 is decode the keywords what are the keywords here ai and what are the keywords here impact these are the two major keywords here hamare paas ho sakta hai aise topic aur lamba ho then the keywords will increase then again i will create a structure and this time the structure is going to be longer i will have an introduction i will have a body and i will have a conclusion aur ye main structure karunga rather than starting with my essay writing automatically or impulsively or immediately i will first try and create a structure for the same theek hai na ab aa jate hain hum log us structure pe sabse pehle introduction likhenge fir body likhenge fir conclusion likhenge introduction mein kya kya cheeze dhyan rakhni hai there are two questions that you can answer in the introduction what and why for example here what is ai and not why ai exists please listen to me carefully not why ai exist but why the study of ai is so relevant today why study of ai is relevant today because through this essay we are what are we doing we are studying ai we are trying to understand the impacts of ai we are discussing on ai so why the discussion on ai why the study on ai is so relevant today that is going to be the second part of the introduction you can write either of these or both of these it's completely okay depends upon the length of the introduction that you want for yourself for rb examination it should be about 50 to 60 words not more than that if you can answer both the questions very well if you cannot you can answer one question and also you can then move forward to the body part okay then let us come to the body part body mein aapko char cheeze dhyan rakhni hai you have to keep in mind four things and in advance only you have to create a structure for all these four things The first one is multi-dimensionality. आप body में सारे dimensions जो भी आप covers कर सकते हो you will try and cover those dimensions. For example, impact of AI. Impact क्या क्या हो सकता है AI का impact employment पे होगा सबसे पहले right? GDP growth पे होगा impact number वन If we just talking about impact of AI, education पे impact होगा right? Privacy पे impact होगा एथिक्स पे इम्पैक्ट होगा दी 
uh, I would say war between machines and humans. वहां पे इम्पैक्ट पड़ेगा ओके इंटेलेक्ट लेवल ऑफ ह्यूमन्स विल चेंज इन द नेक्स्ट टू डेकेड्स कंप्लीटली बिकॉज ऑफ ए आई तो वी विल सी ऑल दीज इम्पैक्ट एंड दीज आर मल्टी डायमेंशनल इन नेचर हमने इकोनॉमी भी ले लिया हमने सोशल इशू भी ले लिया एजुकेशन एम्प्लॉयमेंट प्राइवेसी एथिक्स भी उठा लिया हमने ओके इंटेलेक्चुअल लेवल अगेन एजुकेशन से कनेक्ट हो गया सो वी पिक अप मल्टीपल डायमेंशन दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव टू डू यू टू ट्राई एंड फिगर आउट कितनी डायमेंशन पे इसका इम्पैक्ट हो सकता है या फिर मैं डिस्कस कर सकता हूँ इन हाउ मेनी डायमेंशन कैन आई डिस्कस दिस एसे टॉपिक द सेकेंड इज फैक्ट्स वॉट एवर फैक्ट्स यू कैन रिमेंबर नंबर्स दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर ट्राई एंड राइट दम डाउन इन एडवांस so that it becomes easier for you to inculcate them add them in the final essay as well that you are going to write the third is schemes ai mein bahut zyada schemes aapko nahi milengi but it was if it was on climate change then sustainable development goals national action plan on climate change aise bahut sari schemes bahut sare uh you know programs you can easily inculcate in your essay okay so try and write those schemes in advance i hope you're covering schemes very thoroughly for the examination because they form a very important part of your exam so yahan par aap log agar schemes wagera daloge advance mein likhoge it is going to be a booster for you because it will be very very easy for you to inculcate these schemes in your final uh, essay very easily and the fourth is examples please don't do this mistake of writing example as you go with the essay okay please write your examples in advance if any if i can think of any examples here i would want to think about it and organize it refine it in advance rather than just starting to write it as and when that example comes forward so write your example in advance for example what would gandhi have said about ethics related to artificial intelligence and not doing your own work yourself what would let's say martin luther king would have said on the same we don't know so i'm just giving you a hypothetical situation where let's say you want to write these two examples then what would you do you would write them down in advance ki gandhi ne kya bola tha martin luther king ke kya views the and how were they connected with this topic so how am i going to organize it and write it okay and then the fi final one is conclusion conclusion mein you have to remember two things it has to be futuristic and it has to be optimistic i will be explaining to you the same thing as well through one essay that i will pick up a good essay as well as a bad essay i hope yahan tak clear hai this is the most important part of essay writing the sop is your standard operating procedure that you have to follow number one you pick up all the four essays or three essays that you will be given in the exam you decode the keywords and you create a brief structure once you have identified which essay you want to write you again decode the keywords so that you don't miss out on anything and then you now create a very detailed structure and this structure is going to have introduction body and conclusion introduction may these two things what and why body may four things and conclusion may two things futuristic and optimistic i hope this is clear samajh aa gaya tak now this is the essay that we are going to pick up for today's session uska pehle main aapko structure dikhaunga and then the entire essay the question is or the topic is impact of artificial intelligence on knowledge and wisdom of the youth now i have maybe made it more specific because in rbi examination you will see that some essays will be very broad very general whereas some essays will be very specific so yahan pe maine isko bahut specific kar diya hai impact of artificial intelligence that is first keyword that we have or i would say two keywords impact of artificial intelligence the third one is knowledge and wisdom so knowledge can be kept separate wisdom can be kept separate and finally we are focusing only on the youth so on the future generation and not on old people to hum log unki baat nahi karenge that it will be difficult for them to cope up with ai wo sab hum discuss yahan pe nahi karenge because it is about the youth okay so impact of artificial intelligence on what on knowledge as well as on wisdom of the youth introduction mein hum kya karenge in the introduction we are going to discuss two things what is artificial intelligence as i said this is what we do in the introduction part what is artificial intelligence secondly why is it relevant to study its impact kyu relevant hai to study the impact of artificial intelligence for us okay what all comes under knowledge and what all comes under wisdom that we'll try and identify in advance so that we can easily write a good body for our essay 
वो हम लोग यहाँ पे देख लेते हैं इंट्रो हमारा क्लियर हो गया वॉट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वाई आई ए आई इम्पैक्ट ऑन द यूथ इज क्रूशल बॉडी में इम्पैक्ट ऑन नॉलेज नॉलेज के ऊपर क्या इम्पैक्ट होगा नंबर वन द मेथड ऑफ एजुकेशन विल चेंज हाउ विल इट चेंज विद ए आई वी विल गेट मोर ऑफ इंडिविजुअल अटेंशन बट एट द सेम टाइम द ह्यूमन टच विल गो डाउन ह्यूमन टच जो है वो कम हो जाएगा द मेथड ऑफ एजुकेशन विल चेंज कंप्लीटली बिकॉज दीज कॉन्ट्रोडिक्टरी थिंग्स आर गोइंट टू बी एक्सपीरियंस बाई पीपल देर विल बी इंडिविजुअल अटेंशन एट द सेम एट वन पॉइंट बट एट द सेम टाइम ह्यूमन टच विल गो मिसिंग ओके secondly regional access will become more unequal now this is something that normally we would not be able to discuss or write because it's not easy to figure out the points like these average essay mein aap dekhoge ye sab discuss nahi hoga ai ne ye sab points nahi diye regional access will become more unequal poor countries might be left behind what this means is ai is an expensive affair एडवांस कंट्रीज में ऑलरेडी ए आई हैज बीन यूज नाउ एट अ लार्ज स्केल बट इन डेवलपिंग नेशन इट इज स्टिल इन इट्स प्रिमेटिव स्टेजेस इट इज स्टिल नॉट बींग एडॉप्टेड टू दैट एक्सटेंट वाई बिकॉज इट इज एक्सपेंसिव इट इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस हिंदी में अवेलेबल ही नहीं है अभी तो रीजनल एक्सेस विल बिकम मोर अन इक्वल दे विल बी वेरी ईजी एक्सेस इन डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज एंड सो दो सो दो किड्स एंड द यूथ विल गो अप वेरी फास्ट विल एडवांस वेरी फास्ट बट द सेम टाइम द यूथ ऑफ इंडिया and various other developing countries will be or might be left behind okay enhanced literacy social skills and language development for kids through ai this is the major advantage that ai is going to bring forward for example uh what if you had one person one artificial intelligent person sitting with you through your phone or let's say in a 3d format all the time and whatever you say in english he would repeat whatever you say in hindi he or she would repeat it in english how easy it would be for you to converse with that ai tool and to improve your english right so that is how language development will become easier for you that is how literacy and social skills might be easier to gather okay intelligent tutoring tailored curriculum intelligent virtual reality tailored curriculum and intelligent tutoring very very important you are preparing for rbi examination let's say tomorrow you have an ai tool with you through which you can create your own curriculum and that ai can help you create that curriculum for yourself or that ai can teach you every day one to one and that ai it has all, all the personality traits that i have so it is like starting from me how easy it would be for you to improve and to get selected right so that is how ai can advance the standard of students as well Isol isolation of youth from all kinds of information ai would prefer to show what an individual wants to see or experience now this is a major problem that we see even now that uh, on youtube if you start searching one kind of content you will keep getting the it in your feed the same kind of content so you would be isolated from all other kinds of content all other diverse forms of uh, information that might be relevant to you that you don't even know about but because it wants to improve your experience and it wants to increase the amount of time that you spend on their platform what they are going to do simply is bombard you with the same kind of content day in and day out that might go to the next level with artificial intelligence wherein you might not even have a chance to explore another kind of content that might be available out there okay lifelong learning companion that teaches skills like leadership and creativity so ai might be a moral tool which might start teaching you uh skills like creativity and leadership from your childhood itself because instead of having a real friend who might keep changing who might not be so loyal to you or not, might not be honest with you this ai tool is going to stay with you for your entire life and you can develop a very deep relationship with that tool and with that you can also learn ethics and morals and various other things much faster and much better so that is one kind of impact positive impact of ai knowledge on of the youth the second one is wisdom wisdom basically means wiseness and wiseness comes with experience decision making and that is where ai will take you down will have more negative impacts number one decision making might suffer reliance on ai for small yet relevant decisions of life creativity ability to create new music art etc with ai but human creativity might suffer in the process because a lot of this creative 
things will be outsourced to AI and that is where human creativity might suffer. Mental health may deteriorate with more exposure to social media, more hours spent online. Now, this is again a contradiction that will happen. Diagnosis of mental health will be easier and faster because AI will re read all the data about your exposure to social media and video. whatever you're speaking, whatever you're thinking, everything will be recorded by AI. However, so diagnosis of mental issues will be easier, but treatment will be more difficult and more and more people will be diagnosed with mental health issues because mental health will deteriorate with the exposure to social media and AI tool in the future. Development of a deeper point of view on surroundings might suffer interference in how and what humans think. So, a deeper point of view jo hai, wo, uh, that might suffer because of how and what humans think will be interfered with by AI. So, AI might start uh, monopolizing or controlling how humans think or what humans think or what humans are exposed. Okay. A super spy might be created which might affect freedom of speech and expression of humans and uh, believe it or not all th the walls in the past have been about freedom of speech and expression only. Jitne bhi walls hume aas tak unka ek hi objective raha hai to have more land but why to have that more land so that you have more freedom of speech and expression so that you can do whatever you want to do right so that is the ultimate objective of uh, or has been the ultimate reason behind wars in the past and with this super spy that can be created that will be created this freedom of speech and expression might go down which might result in a war or a conflict between humans and ai tools okay conclusion now i have written a different kind of conclusion here the point that i tried to make in the conclusion was the future of humanity is is going to depend upon how ai is used by humans if it is used for the welfare of humans then the future of humanity is in safe hands but if it is used for welfare of companies that create these ai to uh, ai tools then there will be a contradiction and a conflict between ai and humans there is no doubt about it so if ai is used for the welfare of humans directly at any point and every point in time then it is going to be an easy affair but the reality is that these companies are creating AI tools for their own benefit, for earning more revenues and therefore they are going to tune these AIs accordingly so that they work for the welfare of these companies. And that is where the contradiction will arise. Okay, I hope this is clear. So it's a different kind of conclusion that has been created. Now let's have a look at do's and don'ts and then I will uh, tell you one good, I will explain and discuss with you one good uh, essay and compare it with an average essay. Number one, think well before writing. Spend about five to ten minutes on the structure. Ye humne abhi dekho. Around twenty minutes we have spent on the structure. You can do the same thing by yourself easily in five to ten minutes. Uh, once you've got used to it. Shuru shuru mein pandra bhi minute bhi lag rahe. It's completely fine. Do ghante bhi lag rahe. It's fine. Do that exercise at least get used to it and then start doing it in five to ten minutes. Spend about ten to fifteen minutes on writing. Do not spend all the time on thinking and do not spend all the time on writing. Both the extremes are going to be bad. So spend about 5 to 10 minutes on thinking and then 15 to 20 minutes on writing. Identify and write facts, scheme examples in advance. I have already explained kar chuka aapko. To identify the topic for you, write a brief structure, body of all the topics in 2 minutes. I have already explained the first point that I discussed with you. Write in simple and small sentences, which is in active voice. Please do not write in passive voice. If you don't know the difference, you can Google it and try and uh, experiment or try and practice writing in active voice. It is going to simplify your writing to a great extent. Have this belief that you can write all the essays. You need to search for the best essay to score highest. You have to have belief that you have three essays. So mile, to aapko, at first instance, you might feel that you don't have to But when you think about it again, you will automatically figure out that I can write something about all the on all the three essays. So make sure that you have this belief that you can write all the essays and then you write a brief of structure on all the three essays so that you can figure out more rationally which is the best essay for you. What are the do, uh, don'ts? Don't start writing immediately. Don't limit your dimensions. Multidimensionality, multidimensionality is one important point in the body. 
don't write bad examples just for the sake of writing it's better to write no examples than writing bad examples do not write flary or we would say flowery language does not pay well write very simple and straightforward don't use heavy vocabulary unnecessarily zabardasti bahut heavy vocabulary aapko use nahi karni hai it's not going to go well don't panic if all the topics seem new you can write well anything ho sakta hai you might feel that all the topics that have been given to you are completely new but do not worry uh, aap easily sare answers sare essay topics pe likh sakte ho if you have practiced enough and this session is going to help you with that okay i hope this much is clear ab aate hain ek good essay pe then we'll come towards a bad essay गुड एसे में सबसे पहले हम इंट्रोडक्शन कंपेयर करेंगे बिटवीन अ गुड एसे एंड एन एवरेज एसे गुड एसे में क्या लिखा है आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ मशीन्स टू कॉम्प्रीहेंड लर्न एंड परफॉर्म मच लाइक ह्यूमेंस बाय एम्यूलेटिंग ह्यूमन माइंड एंड बिहेवियर सो व्हाट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस डेट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन हेयर वॉट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ओके आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू हैव अ डुअल इम्पैक्ट ऑन ह्यूमन लाइफ Why is it relevant to study artificial intelligence? ये मैंने यहाँ से आंसर किया है बिकॉज इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ इम्पैक्ट ऑन ह्यूमन लाइफ इट कैन एनहेंस क्रिएटिविटी एंड एम्पैथी स्किल्स ऑफ ह्यूमन्स बट कैन इट कैन ऑल्सो टेक अवे मीनियल जॉब्स लाइक क्लीनिंग वॉशिंग कुकिंग दैट मेक अप अ मेजर पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ तो यहाँ पे मैंने दोनों चीजें बता दी वॉट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड वाई इज इट रेलिवेंट टू स्टडी आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस टूडे बोथ द थिंग्स हैव बीन डिस्कस है आई होप दिस मच इज क्लियर This is how you write a good introduction. You try and answer both the points. अब आ जाते हैं बैड पे बैड में क्या लिखा है इंट्रोडक्शन में लेट्स इन दी एरा ऑफ रैपिड टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस हैज एमर्ज एज अ पावरफुल फोर्स रीशेपिंग वेरियस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ वन ऑफ द एरिया सिग्निफिकेंटली इन्फ्लुएंस बाई ए आई इज दी नॉलेज ऑफ इज दी नॉलेज एक्विजिशन एंड विस्टम डेवलपमेंट ए आई टेक्नोलॉजी सच एज मशीन लर्निंग रोबोटिक्स एक्सेट्रा हैव रेवोल्यूशनाइज द एजुकेशनल लैंडस्केप अब यहाँ पे प्रॉब्लम क्या हुई है सबसे पहले दे हैव नॉट डिफाइंड व्हाट एआई इज विच इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कीवर्ड हेयर सेकेंडली द रेलेवेंस ऑफ एआई जो है दे हैव जस्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट इट फ्रॉम पिकिंग बाय पिकिंग इट अप फ्रॉम द टॉपिक टॉपिक में क्या दिया था इंपैक्ट ऑफ एआई ऑन नॉलेज एंड विजडम ऑफ द यूथ दैट इज वॉट दे रिपीटेड दैट ए आई इज गोइंग टू हैव एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन नॉलेज एंड विजडम ऑफ द यूथ दैट इज वॉट दे So they've just repeated what was mentioned in the topic rather than coming out with the actual relevance of AI. So यहाँ पे mention हमने किया है. Expected to have a dual impact on human life, creativity and empathy skills of humans, taking away menial jobs. So two major impact हमने बताए हैं, which are completely opposite to each other. जिससे it is going to have an impact on both knowledge and wisdom. सो so डायरेक्टली हमने ऐसे नहीं बताया कि भाई आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस की स्टडी इसलिए इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू हैव एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन नॉलेज एज विजम बट वी इन डायरेक्टली शेयर इट दैट वाई आर वी स्टार्टिंग दिस वाई आर वी डिस्कसिंग दिस टॉपिक इज बिकॉज इट इज गोइंग टू हैव अ डुअल इम्पैक्ट इन दीज एंड दीज फॉर्म्स दैट अल्टीमेटली विल अफेक्ट ह्यूमन लाइफ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ नॉलेज एंड विजम आई होप दिस इज क्लियर ओके तो ये हो गया हमारा इंट्रोडक्शन एंड दिस इज हाउ वी हैव कंपेयर्ड एंड Come to the conclusion कि ये दोनों पॉइंट लिखने बहुत जरूरी है वॉट इज द की वर्ड एंड वाई इज इट रेलिवेंट टू स्टडी और डिस्कस दैट की वर्ड ओके सेकेंड पे आते हैं अब आ जाते हैं बॉडी पे आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सिस्टम हैव द केपेबिलिटी टू प्रोवाइड इंडिविजुअल अटेंशन इन क्लास रूम्स एंड हायर लर्निंग इंस्टीट्यूशन दिस कैन हेल्प द यूथ इन इंप्रूविंग देर आउटकम विद स्मॉलर एंड मोर टारगेटेड एफर्ट्स तो मैंने आपको बताया था इंडिविजुअल एफर्ट जो है दैट विल इम्पैक्ट दैट विल Uh, uh, individual attention will increase in classrooms, but at the same time, whatever individual attention people are going to get, that will be devoid of human touch. That can have a serious impact on human mind. So, both points, I have given, or both dimensions, I have told you. How is it going to have a positive impact to individual attention, but at the same time, that attention is going to be devoid of human touch. Okay. I hope this is clear. Artificial intelligence is an expensive or undemocratic system. that will increase the regional disparity in educational outcomes between the developed countries and developing countries ye second point tha ye points already hum discuss kar chuke hain brief mein yahan pe maine detail mein likhe hain aur yahan pe aap dekh sakte ho in about 30 40 50 words i have written every point aisa nahi hai ki maine bahut lambe se discuss kiya hai koi bhi point all the paragraphs are very well balanced first paragraph four lines second paragraph four lines 
थर्ड पैराग्राफ थ्री लाइन्स देन टू लाइन्स देन थ्री लाइन्स तो आई हैव ट्राई टू मेंटेन द बैलेंस बिटवीन ऑल द पैराग्राफ सो दैट आई कैन गिव इक्वल इंपॉर्टेंस टू ऑल द पॉइंट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू राइट ओके कैन एनहेंस दी लर्निंग आउटकम्स एज वेल एज रीच ऑफ किड्स बाई प्रोवाइडिंग हायर लिटरेसी नंबर्स लैंग्वेज डेवलपमेंट जो हमने डिस्कस किया था किस तरह से लैंग्वेज डेवलपमेंट कर सकते हो उसको ब्रीफली लिखा है the lang uh, the knowledge of a young kid is dependent on two things ability and willingness to learn with ai the ability of educators to impart deeper knowledge can improve because educators can now learn more and learn faster so their ability to impart deeper knowledge can also increase jaise mera example le lo abhi i'm teaching you i'm comparing a good essay with an average essay and the average essay has been picked up from an ai tool i would not have been able to do it and i've never done it in the past because i did not have this access now because i googled not googled i would say i i opened chat gpt i uh, uh, asked chat gpt to write an essay on this topic to jaise hi maine wo essay dekha i figured that it's an average essay then i decided let me write a good essay and let me then compare both of them in the form of a video so this is how i was able to come up with a new idea a deeper understanding of essay writing is now possible to the next level it would not have been possible without this ai so this is a very rude very crude example of how ai can help teachers as well as students ye yahan pe maine likha hai okay a major downside of ai is their ultimate objective since these systems are created by corporations their main purpose is to increase revenue and growth of these companies so isme kya hoga if you are more engrossed in one part of social media then you will be bombarded with news related to that part even more and you might even be isolated from all the other parts you might not have access to all the other parts of the world's happenings as well that might go to that extent so this might affect the kids the youth of today and tomorrow because they might have good knowledge about one area but they might be unaware about everything else that is happening around the world okay potential to become a lifelong teaching and learning companion ye positive ho gaya it can impart you teachings of socrates of aristotle of uh, gandhi and if it follows the same then it will be very easy for the youth to imbibe those qualities and to be able to live with those qualities mm -hmm. with those teachings so that kind of lifelong teaching might be easier to provide to any student ai is not only expected to impact the youth in knowledge it it will also have implications on the wisdom ab wisdom pe aa gaye hum log wisdom comes with right and wrong decisions but with ai people will not be able to or will not be required to take that many decisions so agar unke decisions hi kam ho gaye automatically kya hoga automatically their wisdom will go down because they will not have taken any decisions doesn't matter whether it's right or wrong they will not have taken any decisions in their life okay so that is how the wisdom might come down because the decision making skills might not develop amongst the youth creativity is an important element of wiseness with ai the creativity and innovations of youth might suffer due to reliance on artificial intelligence systems for example main soch raha tha kuch sketch karne ki and now i thought i can just go to an ai tool and uh, describe what i have thought of uh, you know sketching and it can create an, a sketch in 2 minutes and give it to me so that laziness might actually be a part of our lives i'm trying to overcome that but it's very difficult and especially for the youth it's going to be so so difficult because they would want to take that shortcut immediately right mental stability is an important element of wisdom a mentally unstable person cannot be expected to take rational decisions now ai is a double edged sword because on one hand it will be easier for ai tools to figure out who is mentally disturbed or mentally unstable so diagnosis will be easier but at the same time because of ai mental instability will also increase as is happening with social media so ye ho gaya hamare wisdom ke points okay ye i think repeat ho gaya ha wisdom is a direct outcome of prolonged learning knowledge experience and decisions ai can become a super spy that can dictate how humans think and what they experience limited experience can result in little or no wisdom ye humne explain kiya tha ab aa gaya hamara conclusion you can see conclusion be both brief hai. thus we can conclude that ai has the potential to impart deeper and wider knowledge but only if it works for human welfare only and not for welfare of companies that have created them okay <laughs>
if it is used for the welfare of companies that have created them automatically ai will start working uh, not for humans but for these companies and that will have a very bad impact on the knowledge and wisdom of the youth okay now let's have a look look at the at a bad on an average essay unhone kis tarah ke arguments create kiye hain number 1 it said knowledge and enhancement through ai ab dekh sakte ho aap the paragraphs are longer okay artificial intelligence has transformed the way knowledge is acquired and disseminated so acquisition of knowledge and dissemination or distribution of knowledge with the advent of ai powered search engines and recommendation the youth now have access to an unimaginable wealth of information at their fingertips basically basically what they're saying is knowledge will improve because of because information access and distribution of information will improve so just as access improve hoga dissemination or distribution of uh, information will increase automatically knowledge bhi badh jayegi ai powered virtual tu- tutors and educational platforms will uh, increase personalized learning experience intelligent tutoring system leverage adaptive learning algorithms to tailor educational content to unique strength and weakness of individual learn ye humne jo point likha tha wohi hai ki individual tutoring jo hai that will become possible so only two points were provided in the knowledge aspect and now it jump directly into the wisdom development तो देख सकते हो मल्टी डायमेंशनैलिटी इज मिसिंग हेयर डेप्थ इन द पॉइंट्स इज ऑल्सो मिसिंग हेयर ओके दिस इज वॉट यू टू फोकस अपॉन जैसे रीजनल इम्बैलेंस है वो एक बहुत डीप पॉइंट है जो कि इमीडिएटली हर स्टूडेंट नहीं लिख सकता है यू हैव टू ट्रेन योर ब्रेन एंड प्रैक्टिस इन अफ एस एज सो दैट यू आर एबल टू डू दैट वो आपको ऑब्जेक्टिव होना है विजडम में क्या क्या लिखा है वाई ए आई ऑफर्स इमेंस बेनिफिट्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ नॉलेज एक्विजिशन इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन डेवलपमेंट ऑफ विजडम presents a set of challenges okay because wisdom is not just about accumulating information it involves critical thinking decision making emotional intelligence ye sari cheeze hame wisdom ke andar mil jati hai ai as an artificial intel and entity lacks the understanding of human emotions values and moral compass therefore excessive reliance on ai for decision making may hinder the development of emotional intelligence and ethical reasoning in the youth that is what we also read, wrote the decision making forms an important part of development of wisdom ab ye sare decisions ai le lega to hum kya karenge okay only this one point was provided in uh, wisdom uske baad ye log aage ethical concerns and bias pe another significant impact of ai on the youth lies in ethical concerns and biases now this is something that is a good point because it says that ethical biases might increase with ai because if ai is Uh, exposed to let's say racism and it starts accepting racism then automatically what will happen it will transfer the same to a human as well and that human will also inculcate that bias of racism so that kind of disadvantage might happen so wiseness nahi hogi wo unwise ek uh, individual jo hai wo develop ho gaya okay as you can see dekho kitne bade bade paragraphs hain so the balance is missing here अब आते हैं कंक्लूजन पे टू एंश्योर दैट द यूथ बेनिफिट फ्रॉम ए आई विदाउट कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग ऑन द विस्टम डेवलपमेंट अ बैलेंस्ड अप्रोच इज एसेंशियल ए आई शुड बी सीन एज अ टूल टू ऑगमेंट ह्यूमन केपेबिलिटीज राज देर अ रिप्लेसमेंट फॉर ह्यूमन विजडम तो इसमें ज्ञान दिया है बहुत सारा बट देर इज नो टेंजिबल पॉइंट इन दी कंक्लूजन दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू द कंक्लूजन कैन बी वेरी मच टेंजिबल कैन हैव समथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट टू से इन वेरी लिटिल वर्ड्स जैसे मैंने वो गुड एस एम आपको बताया इफ इट इज यूज फॉर ह्यूमन्स द वेलफेयर ऑफ ह्यूम देन इट विल बी सक्सेसफुल इफ फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ द कंपनीज दैट हैव क्रिएटेड देम इट विल बी इट विल रिजल्ट इन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वेरी सिंपल एंड अ वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड कंक्लूजन दैट इज गिवन है यहाँ पे बहुत सारा ज्ञान दिया है बट देर इज नो टेंजिबल पॉइंट दैट हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड है ओके तो विद दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन आई होप इट वॉज यूजफुल इट वॉज ग्रेट टीचिंग एंड लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस फॉर मी because this is something that i did for the first time and i'm very very sure this kind of comparison between a good and an average essay must have also helped you jo bhi maine sop diya hai please try and remember that please try and use that please try and practice that uh, in the next 40 50 days that you have for the examination the more you practice it regularly the better you're going to get at it okay so you can uh, have a look at my crash course if you uh, want to be a part of the mentorship program This is a list of all the RBI toppers 2022. Their videos are available on YouTube. You can very well uh, go online, search for them on YouTube, and watch their guidance as well. 
all the best guys i'll see you very soon with some of the uh, other videos on rbi examination till then take care bye bye